everybody, we got a little mana gameplay here. And uh, this is actually for one of the patrons, Zach the guy. And, uh, you know, Vamana's a very fun god. He's one of my favorite warriors, actually, along with Hercules. And this skin makes Vamana so much better. Um, actually, I don't know. Actually, let's go with fun build. Let's go with fun build. So, let's go with fun build. This is not the optimal uh, build for Vamana, but it's the fun build for Vamana. Actually, we'll get Aegis for his ultimate. We're against Dantos. I'm going to go auto attack build. Basically, the stop, 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 you know? You know what I'm saying? So, pretty much, we're just going to alt have Hazel Katana and just hold left click and hopefully do all of his health. That's, that's the strategy. So, we're going to go Hunter's Blessing into Berserkers. Just for some sustain and attack speed and de defense. And we'll get some attack speed on top of that. Like he's a little late to the wave. Oh, he's going Blackthorn. Horrific. Got it. And he gets a level 4 then. Oh, yeah. Have some sort of escape from his Horrific. That'll be very helpful. Hey yeah, guys, I pro I'm still working on some videos, some edited videos. They're taking me longer than I hope, but that's because they're a lot. It's a lot higher quality than my other montages, the one I'm working on now. Okay, nice. The one I'm working on now, not to spoil or anything, but it's a it's a Guardian montage, not the Guardian Gauntlet montage. That one will be once we finish. But we're, I'm doing a Guardian montage of my best Guardian plays that I have saved. And it's going really good. It's just the part that takes a long time is the Unreal Engine stuff. I don't know if you guys have seen that in some of my videos I use Unreal Engine 4, right? And let me tell you, those animations take forever. There's just something about Unreal Engine that takes way longer to edit. And get the right angle and get the right timing. Timing especially. Oh. Try and, nope, that didn't kill. Okay. Would try an Ultim, but I feel like he'd be a lot faster than me and I'd only get like one hit off. Especially because he has that slow mandy too. As is all, I have Aegis. Okay, that did way more damage than I thought. I have to heal. I have to ult to get my healing at least. That way he can't execute me. Because at that. At, before, I could have Aegis and been fine. But once he got me that low, I, if I Aegis, I would have just died after. Alright, so now I need to go back. Then we're going to get Berserker's Shield. I'm going to get Boots. Probably going to be able to afford that Blackthorn Hammer. I don't think he's going straight for red, so I'm just going to take this real quick. And we should get to red around the same time. Unless he did go straight for red. I'll try and contest his blue buff. Either way, I want two buffs. I don't want to settle for it, just one. Red buff is up. Probably could have taken that before he backed. Maybe it was close. I don't know. Okay, cool. Should be able to scare this fine. Okay, that's good. He has his chouse and potions, so you know he's gonna be healing a lot. We'll probably want like a toxic play this match too as well. A nice thing you can do with Vamon is at close range, if you throw your three and then knock them up, you can guarantee the the hit when it comes back. I did it the opposite way there, but use your three and then knock them up. You can get some auto attacks in between two. You have to be right next to them, otherwise you might miss the first shot. And you can do it the other way, which is the way I did it, which is use your one to knock them up and then hit your three. Depends on your style. Okay, all tier because I have too, too low, low health. Okay, we should be fine. Can't be executed. Don't know if I'll chase here. No, obviously not. If not, if he's going to Phoenix. Hunter's blessing at 50 stacks. Want that attack speed, man. Again, if you wanted to play this matchup to the best of your ability, the build I would recommend... Oh, close. 
The build I would recommend is starting Warrior's Blessing into Blackthorn Hammer. Although, I don't like Blackthorn Hammer. I think it's a very unfun item. If you want a real build that doesn't rely on Blackthorn Hammer, because that item is really, I don't know, annoying. It's, it's really cheap, and that's why I hate it. It gives way too good stats for how cheap it is. Uh, then probably Warrior's Blessing into Boots, or Warrior's Blessing into Transcendence, if you want a lot of power and mana. I do think an auto-attack build would be great here, so probably a Hasten Katana to chase him down, because Dantos doesn't have a leap. He only has a movement speed ability, and if you have movement speed, then you can still hit him. Or her in this case, they're using the gender bent skin. Okay, looks like they're skipping boots. I don't think that's the play for them, but hey, they're behind. Could work. Almost a thousand gold ahead. We don't even have first blood. Damage. Oh, there's that horrific emblem. Yeah, we're gonna get Hasten next, because right there, like, if I had Hasten, I could have killed her without my ult. Ooh, good. Backstep. The skin is so good. This is one of the older skins in Smite, uh, for anyone that's relatively new to Smite. This is one of the older skins, like, uh, the tier 3 skins were pretty rare back then. This is one that came out for low mana, or for low mana. It was based on the retro mana because he had a different model back then so it looks a little different but man it's so good good i wish they would make more skins like this the uh, the kuzma mafia is pretty close yeah send then i'll wait for a tier two for the movement speed and then also we'll we'll start working on defense after yeah the mana against any physical character you can pretty much just go full tank and do fine but i don't i don't think that's as fun I think the whole point of playing a video game is to have fun, right? There she is. Trying to give me the ground. Oh, immunity. Can't really catch up to them. If I had hasten, I would be able to. Be able to just smash him. Can't. We should get Hunter's Blessing here. That'll be great. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, take minis. Then I'm probably going to back ward up, and we're, we can probably take Bull Demon around this point. Actually, should I wait until I can afford Hasten? 1,200? We can wait 600 gold. Then we'll recall, ward up, go for Bull Demon. If I can't take Bull Demon, uh, then I just kill, kill Thantos because I have. Because I'll have Hasten. I'll be able to chase him down. Okay, here we might look at door. Nope, never mind. Played it safe. So her without an ult. That's good for us. Let's recall, make sure to get those wards. Take a bull demon without wards. She could go straight over to bull demon and steal it, you know? That'd be bad. So now we're not going to wait for Hazen Katana. I'm changing my mind because she used her ult. Since she doesn't have her ult, this is a perfect opportunity to go for it. Or right here. There's the wave. Oh, here's a nice little tip. I haven't actually gotten a chance to do this. If they're sitting in Phoenix and you want to go for Bull Demon, don't clear the melee gods. Clear the archers. Then go for Bull Demon. And if they're waiting all the way here, what most people do is they wait for the wave and then go for Bull Demon. The wave's going to take a lot longer to get to them. Which is going to buy me way more time on Bull Demon. Like, look, now she's barely clearing the wave now. Whereas if I clear those melees, it would have taken her a lot faster. Now she's going to start coming over here. And by the time she gets here, I should have it taken. I know her ult's down, so no surprises, and we're fine. I've been wanting to show that for a while, but I haven't had any good opportunity. That was like a perfect opportunity. Not that, not that Thantos was uh, Phoenix sitting, but uh, she was staying far back is what I meant. She's waiting for the wave to come to her. Okay, now it's time to back, get hastened. Could go straight for Phoenix, but I think that hastened a lot more. Get wards. Uh, gonna get a blink, because we're, we're far enough ahead. This is also, I like to talk about the matchup in the full game plays. This goes to Vamana, I would say, most of the time. Uh, Thantos would have to be very good to make this work. So, on my channel, I have matchups of both sides that are very bad for me and sides that are very good for me. But I just like to say that. Because when it's, when, it's, when it's not in my favor and I win the matchup, it's, like, really good. When it's in my favor and I win, and I win the matchup, then it's, like, not as... You know, not as exciting, but informative. I'd say there's some informative stuff happening in this game. Now that I have hasten, she can't get even get away from me. 
like at all. There we go. That's first blood, by the way. I'm taking your phoenix, and that's first blood. I haven't gotten to use my ult once. I could just use it there for the heck of it. And then we need Executioner. Oh, well, actually, she doesn't even have defense yet, so no Executioner. Wonder how much damage I can get on this Titan with my ult. Quite a bit. I was hoping she would attack me to make that last longer. Okay. Again, we have Hasten, so this should be our fight. Oh, shoot. Shoot. No! I Aegis too early. My plan was to Aegis and then blink out. But my blink was still on cooldown. It was still uh, in combat. So I screwed that up. That's okay. So since they don't have defense yet, we could go either a Void. Uh, void Shield, which is very good because it gives a uh, flat reduction. Um, yeah, I think we will do that actually as our defense item. It's an offensive defense item. Void Shield, I feel like, is usually good if you're ahead. If you're behind... It's still good, but it's expensive. That's the problem with it. It's 2,600 gold for the entire thing. That's like as much as Transcendence. If you're behind and you're thinking about building it, you still can, but just take into consideration it's going to take you longer when you're behind. It's not going to be nearly as effective. When you're snowballing, it's it's a huge difference. Probably got like 900 gold from that. There we go. Hasten Katana is the best. Oh, they got speedy boots. Interesting. There we go. GG, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And thank you for, to Zach the guy for being a patron and requesting Vamana. Vamana is one of my favorite warriors, like I said, along with Hercules. I'm going to have to get a gameplay for Hercules. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys all had a good day. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys. And I just want to say a huge thank you to my patrons. I want to shout out Zach the Guy and the Son of the Muffin Man for being some of my top tier patrons. Really appreciate it. It means a lot to me and lets me keep doing what I'm doing. Thank you guys so much.